Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since you've seen this creative city, but I'm back with another creative city update. So in this video, we're going to be building a massive hotel district. As you can see, I've already built this tropical motel in a previous video from a very long time ago. But now we're going to continue this and connect it to the original area we worked on last episode. So let's get right into it. Starting off, I've designed three facades. This first one's our more ornate facade, and it's got a nice covered walkway as you can see along here. Pretty cool. Continuing on to our second one, which is a bit of a cheaper, happy, fun sort of hotel, so it's got a bit more colour, and it's got these nice blue balconies, and some small windows below, which I think is pretty cool. Moving on to our last design, which is another very modern building, with a slight Spanish influence on the front here, and nothing on the interior just yet. And we've put it into place. So this is the front of the beachfront here. We've got this area to fill. And let's get right into designing this next building here. Now I'm just planning it out with some smooth quartz. It's going to be a similar style to the one on the right, but maybe a different color like pink. Okay, this is what we've got so far, pretty cool. And this is the final design. It's kind of cool, I think, quite fun. And contrast with this building here, which I've now done the back of. Alright, now for the main hotel which is going to go here. So I've got the buildings in place, as you can see we've got some two stories and one story buildings which are a different design. It's sort of a long corridor which is going to give it a nice cosy and closed feel I hope. So we've got a pool in the middle here with a nice blue ornate bottom and now we can add the greenery and the sun decks and the details that will bring this area to life. But as you can see I've started with a foundation of polished standardite and it's easier to add the details into that later as opposed to just starting with grass. So we've started with three palm trees and now I'm just doing a nice edging to sort of add the detail to the pool. Now for the usual mangrove leaves technique for the sides, now some sun lounges, and a parasol. The important thing with this is just to have the bed head in the middle there, however it's less important with a white parasol. Now for some ladders to get out the pool at the deep end. Brilliant, I've added some greenery on the left, as well as a nice park area which is going to go in the middle here. Around the front here, we've got a different style of pool with a nice wooden or stone, I don't know, it's a different colour decking. And I think this will really separate the area and give it a different vibe. So we'll work on all of this greenery in detail later, but for now we need to get work on the back of the buildings. Alright, so this is quite a sort of functionalist aesthetic as you can sort of see, and we've got a nice side to the building, so it's got a good view from the beachfront. For the roofs, for now, I'm just gonna fill it with some andesite slabs. Okay, now we're pretty much done. We'll work on this later, but next we need to work on the road that's going to connect from this side all the way and snake over to this side. So I'm starting with the plan of the shape with the concrete powder. So I've got a nice curve there I'm happy with, and now I'm going to get work using World Edit on copying a nice simple road. So here we are, it steps up but we need to kind of sort it out and make it look a bit neater. As I've done here, I've curved it in and connected it, and all of the slopes are now perpendicular to the side so it looks actually good. Now we've added the road, the next important thing is to actually section off the hotel from the road so that people of course can't just walk in. Adding a wall and then we can just add some slabs on top to give a very minimalist wall, but it still looks pretty cool I think. So next we're going to have a T-junction, a road is going to go along this way, maybe into a car park and then connect to that area in a crossroads. So we've got our two angles, 
now we just need to connect them and for this I'm going to use circles and this you can do with weld edit and if you just line them up to each of the sides it creates a really smooth transition. Okay we've got the basics in here I hope you can see what I mean so let's just continue work on adding all the details. Right so I've added a nice sheltered parking structure here that I think will become some apartments. So to do this we just need to add a top section here. And there we go, I've made some more interest in the shape and I've added some stairs to actually access the top section. Looks pretty cool. Now let's turn our attention to the exterior of the hotel, specifically this deck here. I'm going to take inspiration from a cruise ship by having a sort of lower section in the middle, which I think will look pretty cool. We can have it quite minimalist by just using smooth quartz, but then to make sure people can't see right in and to separate it from the reception area, we do need to build up some walls on this side. And there we go, we've got a nice pool in the centre there. On the top, let's add some sun lounges and some parasols, similar to how we did it before looks pretty cool. Whoa 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 what do we have here? Some tall palm trees? Yes yeah, so I'm gonna basically dot these around near the centre and while I do this I'm also gonna work on adding some greenery to the car park. Let's do it. Brilliant. I've kept the areas of actual grass lawn to a minimum here because it is meant to be kind of cheap as it's a car park so instead I have this potted plant design which sort of frames the entrance pretty nicely and it's all looking pretty good. So now let's turn our attention back to the original hotel. We need to add the entrance area and work on the greenery that we left pretty bare last time with the pods on. I'm creating some vibrant colour with the new plants as well as some coral and a red one on the other side with the torch flower plant. Next we're going to add a quick pond with some sugarcane on the side and a yellow flower bed to finish things off. I did the same details to this pool here and we're basically done, I think it's looking pretty cool. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of the garden to give you a feel of the vibe. I think this is one of the most detailed areas of the city and I think it really works. Pretty cool. So then it leads to this great open vista of the pool, which gives it a nice flow to the whole build. Now for the reception area, let's bring in our Spanish influence that I've used elsewhere in the city with these arches. And now I'm going to do something quite interesting where I add some signs to this side of the building here. Okay, we've got a nice duo of trees and you can see what I mean by adding the signs there. They look pretty striking and would draw you into the hotel. Walking through the entrance plaza, which is pretty bare currently, I love how the small entrance of only one storey opens onto this grand plaza with the pool. Especially looking back, it's quite subtle but also very charming. Oh, need to remove the sand as I block there. And we've got a frog that's hatched from the frog spawn. And this is what it looks like from sort of the room view, just in case you're interested. We have finished this area with some nice pink flower beds. So anyway, that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed this chill episode of me just designing some areas for this sort of touristy beachfront. I really like this entrance to this hotel here where we've got the pool and then a nice staircase up to the parasols. And of course we need to connect all of this up to the old Miami expansion I did in a previous video. But on the whole, I think we've got a lot done this episode, and in a future episode I plan to build a massive Las Vegas style hotel, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, bye for now.